So we're going to start laying down the, the basic layout of the feather and how I go about doing it. I'm going to start off by doing um, a bobcat. And like I said, I have my own design already that I created on the feather, a photograph of it, and a reference shot of another bobcat. So I'm going to take a wider tip brush, one that holds a little bit more paint, wet the tip of the brush, and start mixing basically a background color. Um, and this color that I mixed together will be closest to the overall shadow of the piece. So you want to go through and find out you know, what the overall color or shadow would be. And this is just a very, um, like almost like a skin tone that I'm using. Okay, so I get lots of paint on the brush. And what's really important about this stage is that you don't use a lot of water or if there's excess water on your brush, um, you want to make sure that that's off first. Because what will happen, again, because this is um, a feather that has an oil base, the water will kind of like soak in, in between the little feather quills. So we're just going to lay down the design. And with this stage, you can be really loose and really simple because you're just laying down the backdrop first. And you can use lots of paint. The more paint, the thicker base you'll have, and the less you have to worry about the delicacy of the feather if you use a lot of paint. And if it's easier for you to, to lay down the beginning stage by using a gesso or something a little bit more solid as a base, that's fine too. And that's actually how I started doing the feather was with gesso down first and then painting over top of that. But over the years, I've kind of just went into painting it directly on the feather without a gesso. And that'll just come with time the more you practice doing it.